Greetings. I would like to welcome you to our daily weekday Mass, held here at the National Shrine of St. Therese on the Carmelite campus in Darien, Illinois. The Carmelites cherish praying and celebrating with you. This shrine is the blessing of a generous gift from the Margie and Robert Peterson Foundation. Good morning, everybody. Today, the church celebrates the feast of St. Bernardine of Siena. He was born in 1380 in Tuscany, became a Franciscan friar. He was known as the apostle of the holy name of Jesus. He had a tremendous devotion. Throughout Italy, he went around preaching because he saw a moral and social decline. We honor him today as we praise God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Let us call to mind our sins, but also call to mind the great mercy of God. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us all, Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us continue our prayer. O God, who gave the priest, St. Bernardine of Siena, a great love for the holy name of Jesus, grant through his merits and prayers that we may ever be set aflame with the spirit of your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The Apostles and Presbyters your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. Who have, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat, sacrifice to idols from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so, they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks. <clears throat> I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. Give you I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, above all the earth. Be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything that I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Morris West wrote a very powerful book that became a movie called The Shoes of the Fisherman. It's a story about the election of the first Russian Pope that takes place at a critical time in the world. It looks like a war is gonna break out. China is going through famine. It's appealed to the nations of the world for help, but no one gives any. The leader of China figures that the only way he can feed his people is by invading countries to the south in order to take over rich farmland. The Pope, in an attempt to stop the war, makes a deal with the Chinese leader to meet with him, and the leader agrees. It does not go well. The leader says to the Pope, what did you risk coming here today? Even if this meeting fails, you can go home and sleep in your bed without fear. The world will acclaim you as a champion of peace. I've risked everything coming here. There are people in my government that didn't want me to meet with you, and they're waiting for one misstep that they can arrest me and kill me. I've risked everything. But what have you risked? That question never leaves the Pope. It haunts him. On the day of his coronation, as he stands on the balcony overlooking St. Peter's Square, he takes off his crown. And he tells the people that all the wealth, all the power of the church will be given to the Chinese people so they can have food to eat. And then he adds, if we can become poor because of that, so be it. There's a song that love is a many splendored thing, 
But love is a very frightening thing. You allow someone to come into your life and touch it. And everything is different. You're stretched. No longer can you do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. Now you have to involve someone else in a decision. Love challenges you to forgive, to listen, to be patient, and to allow your life to be stretched over and over again. And that's just with one person. But what if you were to take the commandment of Jesus seriously? Love one another as I have loved you. If that commandment is lived, I can guarantee you, you will be nailed to the cross. Not once, but many times. And not just with a, a few select people that you find attractive or fun or pleasing to be with, but with the stranger, the enemy, the repulsive, the ones you'd rather not be with. And that's because in these words of Jesus, he says, love as I have loved you. That's dangerous. That love brought Jesus into the homes of the most unlikely people. When the religious leaders said, you can't do that. That love caused Jesus to get up early in the morning and late at night to spend time in communion with his Father. That love, just before this passage, enabled Christ to take off an outer garment and get down on his knees and become a servant, washing the feet of dirty apostles. The second person of the Trinity becoming the servant. And then after these words were spoken, to go into a garden, to be arrested and nailed to a cross, and to die not just for his apostles, but for the crowd that gathered around him, insulting him, mocking him, ridiculing him. And Jesus says, this is my commandment. Love that way. Look as hard as you want. There's no escape clauses. It's a blanket commandment that's given to all those who call themselves Christian, the followers of Christ. Now, how that will be lived out in your life is between you and God. But you will be placed in situations, you will have circumstances that you encounter where you can protect your life, you can protect your comfort, and go home undeserved, and you'll not be bothered. Or you can listen to the cry of the poor. You can hear the tears of those mourning. You can see the face of someone that you don't like. And you'll catch a glimpse of the image and likeness of God. And in those moments, the commandment will come back to you. Love one another as I have loved you. Will it cost you? Dearly, will you be taken advantage of? Most certainly, Christ was. Will you find life in abundance? And in the words of that Pope, if we become poor, so be it. But we will remain faithful to Christ and to his commandment to love as he has loved us.
Let us speak our needs to our Father in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that the Spirit will strengthen and protect the Church in order that it may be made faithful in proclaiming the good news of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For all the areas of our world that know warfare and violence, especially Ukraine, that they may come to know the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For the forgotten, the sick, the homeless, the unemployed, we pray to the Lord. For all the benefactors of the Calm Light Order, especially for the living and the deceased members of the Little Flower Society, we pray to the Lord. For Rodolfo and Kosaka and all the dead, that they may come to the glory of heaven, we pray to the Lord. For our needs and those we have promised to pray for, For all this, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Almighty Father, incline your ear. Let your blessing and peace come upon us and all those that we give to you in prayer, as we make them known in the name of Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, the organist we have bread to offer, the fruit of the earth, the work of many human hands. Let this become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, the organist we have wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of many human hands. Let this become for us our spiritual drink. Pray with me, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which St. Bernardine of Siena never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe once cast down is now renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, and of hosts, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts by sending your spirit down upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant that will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Ronald our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, St. Bernadine, St. Therese, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share that peace with one another. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who has taken away the sins of the world. Blessed are the people gathered to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 <laughs> the body of Christ.
Thank you. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith with which blessed Bernardine of Siena never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God always bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go to love and serve the Lord Jesus and one another. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn, O most gracious advocate, the nice and mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, shown to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God. <clears throat> Our Lady of Mount Carmel, St. Bernadine, St. Therese, hope all of you have a good day and a nice weekend. <clears throat>